What's up guys, Matt Co. Michael's right there. His truck's out there, so let's go take a look and see what Michael's got today. You guys, come on. Set that totally up hard for Wally to lift over, didn't you? Uh -huh. Did uh, my headrest ever come in? Headrest, not much. Yet. So I actually, I'm still trying to get a part number for the actual headrest. <laughs> Somebody asked about the part number on, you know, that set I bought last week, the angled set. Yeah. There's the regular ones. Brushless 20 volts. So what's the torque rating on them supposed to be? Twenty volt brushless bill. Try to figure out. ACD thirty seven. Is the part number for those, those angle, angle ones? ones? Yeah. ACD thirty seven. All right, Wally. Is this the? Yeah, this is one like your motor. Yes. All right. Tell everybody how tough this, <laughs> this meter is. Yeah, I forgot about that. I had purchased a meter just like this, I don't know, about four or five years ago. Had, had it a week. I had a uh, truck I had to go jump off. I had threw some batteries on a pallet on a forklift and I had this sitting up with the batteries. And I was going off to a gravel parking lot, you know, not thinking about it. Well, this apparently had fallen off and I had to run it over with the forklift. The back wheels. Yes. <laughs> Broke the leads off in it, but didn't it actually scuffed it up, but didn't physically harm the actual meter itself. And it's still working today. Still using it. And you stabbed it with a pocket knife on this truck, pulling the fuses out of it. It's going up there. <laughs> and it's still going. Somehow or another. Soldier. That I'm says a firm something believer in fluke. <laughs> about a fluke. So if any of you guys have a want to buy a multimeter that's wally proof right there you go buy the 115 fluke it will last a normal man and his grandchildren to the day they no longer need a multimeter yeah so I'm, i actually own the exact same one and man i've dropped that thing and every time i get out of the truck i'm gonna go get it just to show the scuff marks so this that's thing has 600 foot pounds 600 foot pounds. Uh, it's got four lights on front which is kind of cool because it shines uh, around the socket instead of below or above the socket. Right. Uh, it's got the five amp hour battery, so it lasts longer, charges quicker. It does uh, take a, a new charger uh, because it's a five amp hour battery. They do have, if you was to purchase this and still have some of your older guns that have the other battery, they have an adapter that'll go on top of the, the old battery, that way it'll charge in the new charger. Right. Uh, this won't charge in the old charger, but if you buy the, the kit, you get a new charger anyway. So yeah. they made it to where you can still charge the old batteries on the new charger. So I really like this gun. It's a lot smaller than our, uh, than our last old one as well. So the, uh, the old battery, to, to get the adapter, the part number for the adapter is MCL20 BADP. So that that's basically battery and adapter, but that's the part number there. So cool. That's a pretty sharp gun. It is. I never seen a cleaning flop, has it? 
just twice three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't even know how to spell clean and wipe. That's literally all it did to it. I think I took a pocket knife to a little part of it because it had a sharp edge on it. But other than that, yeah. That is crazy. Don't be a wally and try to run over it with a full fifth to test it out. Still work. I would not do that. Now <laughs> he's had 15 sets of leads since he's been at this shop. Yeah. Well. But the meter's still hanging in there. Somehow or another. That's the new black edition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flute gun metal gray slash where, black trim edition. I saw where Oakley's starting to sell like pre rough glasses, like the frames are pre scratched <laughs> or whatever. I that. You know, I, I saw that. I guess that's what you need to try to market your have it pre dirty that way. All he's got to do is, is the new non high vis. Yeah, that's the non. Look, non just stare at that for a few minutes while I get some scratches on it. <laughs> <laughs> Like him just handle it through that package, you'll start seeing grease just well, magically up. appear. I can actually put some grease on there for you if you want. Pre grease it. <laughs> Pre grease I mean, get, get that uh, first grease gun thing. That's right. I guess everybody needs to do that. Why not? That way, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, y'all come out with a smaller set, huh? Yeah, uh, it has a smaller set. I like that set. Uh, but I would still go with a bigger set. Yeah. I had a customer just the other day that was kind of contemplating which one to go with. And I told him, I said, as soon as you buy this one, you're going to need one of these. Well, yeah. do remember, I traded a set about this size in for the yeah, big you set. you traded a smaller set in for I did also. And I'm 110% happy that I traded in like that. We all three used that on that job this weekend. Oh, yeah. And uh, the good ones. The only thing that we really needed it, that I didn't have was Allen. The set don't have Allen. Yeah, no, I don't have Allen with that set. That's the cricket, I guess. That's we're my hear. noise maker, man. That's it. One of them. All right, I got something I want to show you. Uh -oh. Let's see what you think. Let me get your opinion and see what you think on it. Oh, the icon ratchet? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to use it to really to know. I mean, it does feel like it's got five seats in it. I think it's 90 tooth is what the box said. So I guess the real test is going to be when people actually start using it and uh, how it holds up and stuff like that. But it was good in your hand. $40 for that ranch here. $40. I'm going to abuse it for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. They might get thrown across the shop, you know, left underneath the vehicle. They'll be lost. We won't ever know how yeah. it turned we'll out. Yeah, we'll never know how it turned out. <laughs> we'll never know how it turned out. No fake that'd be wrong, You just said you were going to do it. How did they lose it? We all know how that turned out, Wally. Yeah, I'm interested to see how it, how it holds up. Yep. We've used it. Wally ain't broke it yet. So. It's a miracle. Miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. There's the new handles where you can actually yeah, feel them. Yeah, that's the new handles, so. Pretty nice. Well, everybody seems to like the colored, the black ratchets. But yeah. Wally, Wally don't like his. Well, and I'm being serious. And it's not necessarily even just the ratchet. I hate the lock. But it's not just Matco. It's any one of them. He don't like any, any lock and flex head. It is weird. It's weird. I like that some of them to be flopping. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yo. You like it to be floppy and you wonder why you're single. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Bill? <laughs> don't call me. Bill says, man, nah, ain't gonna so, work, buddy. <laughs> That's always an option. You don't still, uh, just take the darn lock pin out of it. And never have to worry about it again. I'm sure you can take that handle out of it and let it roll. You'll have the only non-locking flex head Matco makes at that point. <laughs> Might do it. I mean, bring it to me. I'll do it for you. I mean, uh, there you go. Problem solved. Uh,
customized Ratco ratchet. Raise, you would do it the right way. Wally would put it in and have it in the vise with a chisel and a hammer trying to yeah. pick the little. Ah, uh, Wally, Wally, Wally. He's special. <laughs> He's very special. This is definitely add on to it. I'm just glad to What was it, laying in diesel fuel? Yes. <laughs> I can't make this up, guys, I swear. Rust prevention. He didn't purposely do it. No, I guarantee you, on. it was probably left under that truck we're it working wasn't. on. There you go. And y'all think I was just making that up with Wally. Alrighty. Well, now your hands gonna smell like diesel fuel. I cleaned it off. <laughs> Where's your trash can? Right there, man. Exactly. What did you just have in your hand, Wally? Huh? Nothing. Hey, he don't know. That's gonna be an allergic reaction here in a minute. Twitching, staring on. No I know everybody thinks that I joke about you just leaving that crap underneath trucks and this and that. That's where the last one is. But all theories to bed right there. Hey, <laughs> hey, try this ratchet out, Michael. That way you can have a hands on. <laughs> and you know, I even thought where somebody had commented last week about y'all need to cut Wally some slack or. Yeah. Like, they did. Don't break it now. That thing may not could handle working on a macro ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> then we would, we would be withholding information. <laughs> Alright, so if y'all want to convert your lock and flex head for some crazy, unknown, goofological reason, Michael's going to teach you how to... No, I'm not teaching. I'm just taking it on a bar. <laughs> show you how to make it where it won't lock again. I don't he know. does not endorse this. No, I mean, <laughs> this goes against everything that I think me and Clay has always said. Oh, well. Sure, Ratchet, you paid for it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> this goes back to the sticker ordeal. If you want stickers on it, put stickers on it. So there you have it. Anyways, like huh? non-locking flex head Matt go ratchet, the yeah. only one on earth. So the fact that you bought it, it won't make you use it? <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, there was a huge puddle under that truck. Yeah. I got a couple other ratchets down there. Too. Putting your impact down there too? Why does a man spend all his money on a toolbox? He don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> like, he's got his old box in there, and I went to look for something the other day, and there's nothing in there. Yeah, there is. You just well, didn't the right door. Nuts and bolts door. Nuts and bolts door. I want to say it's my ratchet. Sweet. Mail in. Floppy. You have an ED ratchet. I mean, if you want it here, you can loosen it. No, oh, that's fine. I'd rather be a little tighter myself right there. Well, most people like the lock. I don't want the hell wrong with I thought she was going to say, <laughs> I thought she was going to say, well, most people do like it tighter. <laughs> Not Wally. <laughs> Not Wally. He likes it loose and floppy. Yeah, personal preference. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. Well, y'all got the first look at the new brushless 20 volt Matco with the four lights on the front of it. And y'all got to see Wally destroy a perfectly good ratchet. Destroy? Yep. Here is one of the new lights that they've come out with. They've actually come out with two. They come out with this one that actually has sensors on the front of it to where you don't you got gloves and stuff on and don't want to press the top button and wave your hand in front of it. Hmm. So that's kind of cool. It's LED in front. And that's what you need, Bill. For your uh, tow truck drivers and stuff like that, it actually has a red flashing light on the back for safety if you're working on the side of the road and stuff like that. You just got uh, 200 lumens, 100 lumens on low, and then you have the red bar. It's like 20, 20 lumens or something like that. So. Not a real, real bright light on the back, just something that's flashing your head back. That's pretty cool right there. And all, they also have, um, I had one set, but a guy just really wanted it. So, um, you, you remember the snap on lights that you can put around your neck? And yeah. Two ventilators. They've come out with one now that's um, 
kind of it's kind of different because you charge each individual light on both sides. That way, there's no wires running through the, the band. So um, it's a cool light. It's, it's so quick. So we'll have it yeah. next week and show it off. Nice. Everybody needs more lights. Right? Can never have enough lights. I know I lost my little stream light for a day, you know. It was a bad day. Where'd you find it? In the recliner. <laughs> In the recliner. I think I messed it up yet. No, I ain't messed it up yet. Has it lost its yet? That's the question. Hey, I. Did you get any more of them extra large <laughs> pink <laughs> shirts in? I got so many, but I don't know what size it is. I'm not believing it. He's lost his new streamline. You've lost your new streamline? Oh, I know where it's at. It's just not here. <laughs> what good is he going to do him at what? home? Okay, whenever uh left, what was it, Sunday or whenever when right we got back? Uh-oh. Still, no Still no tatas for Wally. What? Still no tatas for Wally. I ain't seen no tatas in a while. Alright, guys. You don't have to be goofy like Wally and hate on a logging flex head, but you can buy one of those awesome t-shirts. The link's down below in the description. Also some cool tools and discount codes. Boy, my hands do smell like this a lot of <laughs> I knew your hands were, when he walked in and I seen it was shiny, I knew exactly what done happened there. Look, it's a lot of kind of grease and stuff on my fire and stuff. That came it from the meter, that wasn't the actual ratchet. Oh. oh, that was super clean for him. Like, <laughs> you could lay that on a white tablecloth. All right guys, like always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down there because why bill totally free what time is it go back to work <laughs>